Time now on Sky Sports Radio for Going Greyhounds for your daily update of the latest news and tips. It's 12 to 11, Liz Wheel and joining me. How are you, Liz? I'm very well, thank you, Cosy. How are you this morning? Terrific. Now, we've got another ripper week of racing right around the state. And what have we got to look forward to this week? Yeah, we spoke quite a bit last week about those Rich Super Series races and also the Maiden Series races. Um, if you haven't checked out the one of Aston Maeve last week from the gardens, you've got to do it. Um, do it immediately. Wait until Going Grey Hunt is finished and then check out the replay. Um, we had Jason McKay on last week and he said that he thought Aston Maeve was pretty special, but she was spectacular. She had no right to win her heat and she did it in 29.42. Um, congrats also to Jeff Grimwood. He won a heat as well with his girl Aston Zodiac. We had him on the show last week as well. Now, there were also four maiden heats over 400 metres at the gardens and Daryl Thomas took out two of those heats with his greyhounds. He joins us right now on the show this morning. Daryl, a very good morning to you and welcome to Going Greyhounds. Hey, good morning, Liz. How are you? I'm very well, thanks. Hey, Daryl, congratulations on last week. It must have been great to see two of your dogs taking out those uh, maiden heats at the gardens. Yeah, it was, it was good to see the, uh, the young dogs coming through and, and racing well. Look, I'm keen to talk about Canelio first of all because he looks like quite a talented type. He won his heat off box seven in 22.88, flew out from box seven and got across and got out to a good lead. What did you make of the win? Yeah, he's a dog on the dog on the improve. He's coming back from injury, but uh, he got the real good check going through the catch and pen, which sort of sort of slowed him up a little bit. Uh, and I think that this week, if he can get a clear run, I think he can go a fair bit quicker. Okay, and he comes up with box six in the final. What do you think of that? Yeah, it's not ideal. Uh, ideally, we'd probably better draw closer to the rail, but, you know, we're just happy we're in it. And your other runner in the final, you've got Seeking Quality. He also had to do it off box seven in the heat. He won it in 23.02. Pretty similar in style. Jumped well, got across and led throughout. How's he come through the race? Yeah, he's come through really good. He, he, he's could be a, the shock dog of my two. He's... Uh, just an improver, and, and he's really well boxed there, so hopefully uh, he gets a nice run across and he might be he might be there in the finish as well. Okay, can you pick between them for the final? No pressure. Oh, on ability, the, the Caniglio is a much faster dog, and I think he'll go on to be a nice dog in time. Okay, and uh, you've also got another runner on Friday. You've got Keep Guessing lining up in race nine. She's won three of her last four, and she went 29.76 here three starts ago. Um, what are your expectations of her on Friday? Yeah, she's getting up in grade now, and uh, she hasn't got the greatest of box manners. She's probably looking for a further trip. I find that, you know, this week she's going to need a lot of luck, but if she gets it, she'll be right in the firing line, but looking probably to step her up to 600 after this week. Okay, and uh, look, Daryl, while we have got you there, I want to talk to you about Legrand Quality because he won the Warrigal Cup for you back in January, but we haven't seen him since the Maitland Cup in March. What's he been up to, and when can we expect to see him back at the track? Yeah, well, in the Maitland Cup, he, he just he absolutely slaughtered himself off, off the inside box and come out of there pretty pretty injured, so we decided to give him time to heal and, and a bit more time, especially with what's going on with all the zones. It sort of limited us to racing and and being mainland shut down several times, it sort of it hasn't been ideal for the dog. So basically he's just idling along. We're hoping the zones can be dropped soon and then we can sort of get him to back to either Bulleye or, or Maitland hopefully opens up again in the next couple of weeks and just give him a couple of lead-out runs. And then looking forward to, to putting him on the two turns and giving him a crack at Wentworth Park. Okay, well, looking forward to seeing back on the track. He's certainly an exciting greyhound. Daryl, thanks very much for your time today and all the best on Friday in the big final. Cheers. Thanks for having me, Liz. Uh, Cosy, that was Daryl Thomas, and uh, he's got a couple in the big maiden race on Friday at the Gardens, and it sounds like Cornelio's got a bit of talent. Mm. Now, Friday as well, we're going to do it uh, at Richmond. they got their heats of, what, the Super Series and the Maiden Series? Yeah, it just keeps going. It's pretty exciting. So, yes, more heats to come at Richmond on uh, Friday, and... John and Minnie Finn, they've got a number of chances throughout the night. And uh, Minnie has been kind enough to join us on the show this morning. Minnie, a very good morning to you and welcome to Going Greyhounds. Yeah, good morning, Liz. How are you? I'm good, thanks. Hey, Minnie, look, I'm really keen to talk about your runners in at Richmond on Friday. Um, first of all, race two. That's one of the big maiden heats. You've got a couple of runners, Medio Paso and Rhyme Nor Reason. Um, both of these runners from the Fernando Belchica Destacata litter. Um, how are you expecting them to go? Yeah, they should go um, perform all right. Um, they need a bit of race experience. Um, 
they're still very green and yeah, no, they're both well boxed, so they should go right. Okay, and uh, race number three, another one from the slitter. We've got Q for Quids lining up. He comes up with box number two. Um, what are your expectations there? Yeah, it doesn't look that hard a race. Um, yeah, he's much the same. There's the four of them. There's not really that much in the whole four of them. They just need a bit of race race experience, and we're just hoping with a bit of race experience they can improve a bit because um, at the moment they're not setting the world on fire, but... I think with a bit of experience they um, might come good. Well, they are beautifully bred and one of the ones from Lilla who has had a bit more race experience is Ola Adios. Now she's in race number four and she broke maidens at Dapto last week. A little the way she just managed to hold on and she's lining up in a 400 metre grade five race. Does come up with box four. Would you like to see her leading again? Yeah, um, for sure. She needs to lead the 400 corner start there. You need to come out and um, yeah, at the moment she doesn't seem to be able to run the 500 that strong, so we thought we'd drop her back to a 400 and see how she goes there. Okay, and race number six, you've got one of your champs lining up, Blue Moon Rising. Now, uh, he won a Masters race at Dapto last week off box six. He's recently turned four and um, doesn't seem to mind at the drop back in distance. He, he does come up against quite a strong field there on Friday. How do you think he'll go? Yeah, um, yeah he should go well. He's well boxed. He um, doesn't race as well at Richmond as he does at Wentworth Park, but um, he's boxed to go all right, and he's been freshened up now because we haven't been putting him over the distance. And he's an iron dog. He always puts in 110%, so you can expect him to go all right. I mean, he's been an amazing dog to watch, uh, Group 1 winner, Blue Moon Rising. What are the plans with him going forward? Are you going to be putting him up over um, ground again or at the moment just sticking to the 500 metre races? Uh, just at the moment, we're just going to stick into the 500 because lack of distance dogs and um, it's hard to um, get them up over 700, race every week and then they've got to drop back to 500 and all that and he's getting on a bit, so... At the moment, we'll just keep him to um, 500, but if we can get consistent 700 metre racing and Wentworth Park comes back, we'll, he'll go back up over the distance. Okay, and uh, finally, race number seven, you've got Really Unreal. She's also lining up in a Super Series heat over 535 metres. Some of her recent racing has been sort of over the six and 700 metre trip. Um, how do you think she'll be going over the 535 metres? Yeah, she's well boxed. She's a bit fresh at the moment because she had a bit of an injury, but... She's better suited over more ground as well, but um, due to the lack of distance chasing, we actually nominated her in Blue Moon Rising for a 600 at Zapto and couldn't get a start, so then that's why they're in at Richmond. And um, yeah, she'll be in it if she can come out. She's well boxed there. Many, I am putting you on the spot here, so there is no pressure. However, <laughs> do you yeah. have a best bit of the day for us there on Friday? Well, Maddie O. Cassio in the one box. I think she'll okay. she'll improve a lot. She should yeah after her last two starts. She's got a bit of experience. She was unlucky last Thursday night at Dapto not to beat her sister. Mm -hmm. So I think she might improve, yeah. Okay. Uh, terrific. Thank you very much for your time this morning, Minnie, and all the best on Friday. Thanks very much. Bye bye. Uh, that was Minnie Finn. She's got some really talented youngsters coming through. I'm looking forward to seeing them um, as the months progress from that Fernando Belchica Destacada litter. And uh, Cosy, it sounds like Medio Paso is the one that we should potentially be putting our money on a race to mm. on Friday. But it's funny, Lucy says you've got uh, yeah, all those impressive youngsters coming through. We can almost say that about Minnie Finn every year. It's, just, <laughs> it's a procession, isn't it? It does seem to be the case. And the old boy, Bloomer and Rising, uh, who recently turned four, and he's still doing a great job. Oh. He doesn't even seem to mind the distance at the moment. And yeah. um, Group 1 winner lining up there. It's pretty exciting. He'll be driving himself to the races soon. <laughs> he will be. <laughs> <laughs> now, have you got a couple of good things for us today? Oh, look, I hope so. Uh, we've got the three race meetings today in New South Wales. Uh, Grafton race two. Number six, Cedar is my best bet there at Grafton. Gunnida race six, number four, five mile gem. And Richmond race eight, number two, Princess Riot, paying a dollar ninety on tab. Last time I checked with Princess Riot and race eight at Richmond.